gentlemen, let's get ready to rumble! And a very, very hearty good afternoon to all you people here in the Young Noodle Army. Welcome back to the channel. Now, in my previous video where I dissected the artistic masterpiece that was the KSI diss track towards Logan Paul, I did pose the question, when, if at all, is Logan Paul gonna respond? And that was on a Saturday here in Australia, and it is now a Wednesday here in Australia, and bada boom, realest guy in the room, Logan Paul has responded, and he has dropped, he has dropped a diss track of his own. Let's have a look. London, oh he's training in London. Man, he is pretty ripped, I gotta say. He is he's in good shape. Oh, brother's calling, pick up your phone. <laughs> what is this corny BS? <laughs> what is this corny friggin' rubbish? Uh, you know what? Fair, fair play to both of them. They did compliment the music video, which, in fairness, was very, very good. It was very highly produced. It was a very well shot music video. They said that the music was a bit eh. Um, I don't think the music was that bad. Of course, this is all one man's opinion, and this man definitely wants to take this other man down, so of course he's going to trash this one man. But you know what? Fair play to him. Not only did he give him a compliment, but he also trashed on him a little bit. So it's a little bit of give and take. So you know what? I think that's okay. That's pretty fair. You need to do something about it. Mm, sounds serious. Well, listen, man, I'm training really hard right now. I don't think I'm going to have time God, to these guns are ready to pop out of their arms. Oh, I hear a train coming. Get off the track! They took Kong. Oh, yes! Oh. <laughs> I like that. I actually <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny. But I love it. I love that they're taking one aspect of the KSI music video and they are using that to fuel their own story. I think that's really smart. Since KSI is really good at diss tracks, I decided to feature him on mine. Oh, that's so sweet! See, even though you guys are gonna fight, it's good to see you guys working together. Oh. E. Uh. Uh, <laughs> what the hell, what the hell is that? Ah, oh, stop it. <laughs> oh, I get it. So this is going to be a complete, like, total smear campaign here. So he's taken old videos of KSI being really cringe and really sexist in public, and he has taken that content and putting it back on him. So that is like, in a lot of ways, that is the biggest way to diss someone, is taking parts of them at their lowest, turning them back on them, and just, just spotlighting how just incredibly stupid and dumb that they were at the time. Now I know what people are saying, oh, these videos are like three, four, five years old. That time has come and gone. But you know what? He still said it. He still said and did all those stupid things, okay? So you can't really hide from the fact that those things happened and they exist. And if those things are still in circulation, of course your enemy is going to pick up on them and just show the whole world. Like, duh, Fred. Of course that's going to happen. So that's really smart. I'm sounding like a Logan Paul fanboy here because I'm really enjoying what I'm seeing so far. But let's see if the actual music video can hold up to uh, just any standards, really. Can it hold up to the massive poo that I took in the toilet this morning? I don't know. We'll find out. Play. This, this, this ain't FIFA you can't, but I think I'm about done. Ugh. Look deep fried for a second. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Where have you? Ah, oh, tits. He's got tits. Yeah, uh, we'll go into that whole man boobs thing again. That's really creative. Why has he got Maverick written on everything? Like, that is so disgusting. Man, Jake Paul doesn't look happy. He looks really sick. Yeah, he looks like he doesn't really want to be there. Ah, uh, okay. 
Let's just get one thing straight. Neither of these guys are going to be on the street once this fight is over because if you were paying attention to the news, apparently both of them are set to receive like $20 million for doing this fight. Like, what? What? So, yeah, like, okay, it's a rap song, yeah, we can sort of go along with the narrative that you're trying to create. But we all know for a fact that it, nobody nobody is going to be poor from this thing. Everybody's going to be filthy freaking rich, and you won't have to box again, so don't do it. But you're not going to be poor, okay? So we'll buy into what you're selling us, Logan Paul, right now. But definitely nobody in the world, absolutely no one believes it. But it's okay, it's music, we'll go along with it. How much would you suck dick? Hmm... Okay, that's pretty cringe. It's pretty cringe. I don't care what you think about KSI doing that stuff is really bleh, not good. It's very tacky. That fucking makes no sense. I shouldn't swear. Oops. Ah, <laughs> oh, stop the dancing! Stop the dancing! You can't dance. Ah, oh, the dancing is just awful. It's terrible. Where have your tits gone? It's actually pretty catchy, I'm not gonna lie, the song is very, very catchy. The video is trash so far, and anytime you see white people in jumpsuits with Maverick written on them, anytime you see them dancing, it's never gonna be a good day for anybody. But I like the song. The song actually slaps a little bit. Oh, stop it. This is how he's dancing. <laughs> <laughs> He's got his middle finger up in the air. Screw you, man. I'm a, I'm an individual. I'm gonna dance any way I want. Ah, <laughs> uh, 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 oh, stop it! What is this mess? Gotta stop dancing. The dancing just takes away any musical credibility that you might have had. The music is not terrible. I've heard a lot worse. But the video, video just ruins it completely. Like. He's just doing himself a no favor at all. And any sort of like cred that he's built up with the song is instantly taken away by him doing that and that. Looking like he's the Tin Man from Wizard of Oz. Like he's got no movement in him at all. And he, oh, it's just terrible. Yeah, mm, mm, mm. I see you, man. See, he's uh, sporting a little shiner there. Ah, oh, cheap plug for the shop. Well done. Had to get that in there. As if people aren't going to buy your shit anyway. Official post is now available. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Right. Be a maverick by Logan Paul. Oh, there's an airplane going overhead. Hey, airplane, do you want to buy some Logan Paul merch? Go to loganpaulshop.com. Loganpaul.com forward slash shop. Sorry. Well, there goes my chance of being endorsed by Logan Paul. Whoopsie. All right. How does that compare to the KSI diss track? Well, let's start with the video, okay? We had the KSI video that was very highly produced. It was a very professional production, great camera work, great uh, symbolism, great acting. It had like a story that you had to follow, everything like that. That was very good. This video was not good. This video, I would say, was bad. It was a terrible video. It was disgraceful. Like it was just a, get this out of here. It was just like a really weird mashup of old KSI cringe videos and stock footage of Logan Paul, like dancing like someone's grandpa and just a whole bunch of other B-roll just slapped in there for no reason. So the video itself, bleh, terrible. You can see how and why they were able to produce this video in like under four days because no work at all has gone into the actual visual side of it. I would say that the most amount of time went into the little skit that was filmed at the beginning with Logan and Jake, but even that was like 30 seconds long. So clearly no effort has gone into the video. Maybe that is like symbolism in itself where it's like, hey KSI, you want to spend all this money and time on a video and you're going to drop a diss track to go uh, like chuck over the top of it, but I'm just going to do the same thing, but I'm not going to do anything with the video. The video is garbage. No one cares. It's about the song. It's about the diss, and I'm going to get you on the diss. And that leads us to the diss. That leads us to the song, to the music. What happened with the music, okay? I would say, in my opinion, that the songs, both the KSI track and the Logan Paul track, they are, mm, they're not that far apart. I still think the KSI track is better but it's really not by much. As a whole, I don't think the quality is that much different. 
So I think they are almost an even match. Almost. Like I said, I think the KSI one's better. But I think they're almost a match. Fuck off. Oh, boy! I guess that's it. That's that's all we've got from that diss track. Um, of course, the uh, Jake Paul and Deji diss tracks were dropped as well. But I really don't care too much about them. So I'm not going to really bother. And the fight is in like... It's in four days anyway, so who's got time to go through and do that stuff anyway? So I think we might just leave it at the two, uh, the main eventers, if you will, KSI and Logan Paul. Their diss tracks are the only ones I really care about. So in turn, those are going to be the only ones I talk about, and those are going to be the only ones that my young noodle army care about as well. Every single video I do, I actually bump my microphone as well, okay? Maybe that's a trademark of mine. I'm not too sure. Well... I think that's all we've got time for today, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for tuning into the video. If you made it all the way to the end, make sure you slap a like on this video, maybe dislike, maybe leave a comment if you're new to the channel as well. Make sure you subscribe. And uh, I guess I'll come back with a video once the fight is actually finished and I'll do a little uh, review reaction to uh, the fight and who's going to win. Who do you think is going to win? Make sure you leave your answer in the comments below. I am choosing... I'm going to choose KSI. I think KSI is going to win, but I don't think it's going to be as easy as a lot of people think. And it's definitely not going to be as easy as I thought it was going to be because after seeing how ripped Logan Paul is and him doing all the, uh, the, the training, that's what that is. That's punching. That's boxing. Okay. If you don't know what boxing is, look it up. But after seeing all the training that he was doing, I think he, he stands a good chance. I don't think he's going to get there because I think KSI does have the uh, experience edge after his fight with Joe Weller. And I just think that overall he's going to be able to compose himself a bit more. He's going to be less likely to be rattled, whereas I think Logan Paul is going to get rattled quite easily, especially with the hometown crowd behind KSI over there in England. And uh, yeah, that's it. I'll see you next time. Okay, bye.